This is actually happening. What's up YouTube, it's your boy. BMAC. And today we're unboxing a new Apple product. A product, I gotta be honest, I never really thought we would get from Apple. We're unboxing the HomePod. Full disclosure, before I even start this video, I just wanna put that out there. I am a little biased when it comes to the smart speaker game because of my Echo devices. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel, you know I am a huge Amazon Echo fan. I use this bad girl on the day to day. But we're gonna put those to the side right now. Focus on this bad boy right here. Let's just get straight to the unboxing. Check it out. We'll deal with the comparison stuff later on. Here we go. So if you check out the box, the box has a really cool minimalistic kind of design. I got the space gray version of the HomePod, which made me kind of nervous because when I first saw this box, I thought they gave me the white one. But this is just that minimalism design. So we have the Apple logo on the two sides like that and on the other two sides is this very minimalistic design with the home pod and the same with on top so here we go we have a nice little tab here on the side oh, love doing that it's honestly my favorite part of the unboxing right there we're just gonna unwrap the cellophane Wow, look how, look how perfectly the cellophane comes off of the box it's like they made this for an unboxing video crazy take the box put it right here get rid of the cellophane and we have this little slide up action right here here we go unboxing the brand new space gray apple homepod it's sexy it is sexy if you're subscribed to the channel you know i love matte black products this bad boy would fit in perfectly with my desk Just add it straight to the matte black product collection I'm liking it. Put the top of the box to the side. Focus on the HomePod itself. We have a little tab right here, which if we peel that back, oh, when I was a kid, I would leave this on. Wouldn't even touch it. Let's take the HomePod out of the box. Even the cord is sick. We get this cool like nylon braided cord instead of a usual rubberized cord. I like that. It's a little subtlety. I like it. In the bottom of the box, you will see a little packet here if you take this out. And inside this little packet, you're gonna find, per usual, an Apple sticker. And of course, your quick start guide right here, which is gonna walk you through the entire HomePod setup process and safety and user guide information on these two right there. So as you can see right here, the first step is actually getting your phone, connecting to Wi-Fi and turning on Bluetooth. Luckily, I've already done that. And then the second step is holding your device near the home pod to complete the on-screen setup and then step three if you flip this around all done now simply ask Siri to play music and on the flip side of that we have the controls and a couple different Siri commands you could try out the home pod welcome kit we'll put the rest of the box to the side we'll put the home pod in the middle I already have dust on this thing. That's the only thing with this shiny black top. I mean, no one's gonna be coming over here and grilling your HomePod like I currently am. But with that shiny top, if it's in a brightly lit location, you might see a little dust on top. So have a little duster handy, which I do not. But I'm glad it's shiny because that way you get a screen built in and it perfectly complements the rest of the HomePod. So we have this all around omnidirectional speaker. We have this braided cord that comes out the back. A nice space gray, almost matte black finish on the bottom, which is rubberized. So your HomePod's not gonna be sliding around on its surface if you're bumping that base so far it is sexy man it's pretty heavy not gonna lie comparing it to something like the echo dot which is not really a valid comparison let's compare it to the echo compared to the echo oh my gosh it's like at least three times the weight but in all honesty that doesn't matter because you're not picking up your echo or your home pod on a daily basis but that might give you a little insight to the hardware that's built in all right enough talking i have to plug her in we're gonna undo these tabs on the side here unravel this bad girl so once we have this unraveled we're gonna take this plastic part put that off to the side plug her in I cannot find a single extension cord anywhere. Okay, it's plugged in. I got it. All right, she's... Wow. That little startup sound alone, I swear the floor shaked a little bit. I gotta be honest, I am blown away by the acoustics just off that startup sound. And that's saying a lot. Your iPhone will literally sense the HomePod nearby. We have a little button there that says set up. So we'll do that, we'll set it up. Where's the HomePod? There isn't a studio option. Let's do living room for now. I'll click continue. And then here's where you can sign up for Apple Music. For those of you who know me, I'm a former DJ. I still DJ from time to time. And unfortunately when I'm DJing, I cannot DJ with Apple Music because of DRM protection built into the Apple Music music files. So 
I'm not an Apple Music subscriber. If you're not either, but you want to try it out, you could actually try it out with a free trial. I'll have a link for Apple Music in the video description box below, so check that out if you want to try Apple Music for free. But here's where you can subscribe to it if you want. I'm going to click not now. And here you can have personal requests. It says, allow anyone to use this HomePod to send and read messages, add reminders, create notes, and more with this iPhone when it is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And then, of course, we have the terms and conditions. I'm going to lie. Instead, I read them all and agreed to them. Then you have your accounts and settings screen where it'll use your iCloud account, Wi-Fi, and the settings on your iPhone to configure the HomePod. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to transfer those settings. So well. And the HomePod is now setting up. I'm just going to set the phone down next to it and patiently wait here. Maybe twiddle my thumbs a little bit. Hi, I'm Siri. Welcome to HomePod. You can't tell, but I'm waving. To get my attention, say, hey Siri. Wow, that just touched my heart a little bit. So the HomePod's officially set up now. And now it's time for the first Siri interaction. Hey Siri, what can you do? You can ask me, hey Siri, tell me the news. Set a three minute She sounds amazing. I'm pretty sure they have like pre-recorded messages or something because that is the most realistic sounding artificial intelligence I've ever heard in my entire life. Siri doesn't even sound like that on the iPhone. That's crazy. That's, that's a game changer right there. Hey Siri, what's the weather? It's currently cloudy and 28 degrees in Guildford. Expect snow starting in the evening, then cloudy skies tonight. Temperatures are heading up from 28 degrees this afternoon to 35 tonight. Cool, almost beach weather. Well, right off the bat, I could say Siri sounds very natural. It literally sounds like I'm having a conversation with a human, which is incredible. So Siri sounds good, but what about the tunes? I'm gonna put this to the test right now. Hey Siri, play Playlist Beats. Playlist Beats now playing. Just bump it up a little bit. Yeah, volume control is on the top with that screen, which looks awesome, by the way. Oh, this thing bumps, man. This thing bumps. Wow. Bass is unreal. I'm gonna get up and walk around a little bit. Words cannot describe the acoustic power that this thing has. It is almost surreal how amazing this thing sounds. I need like five minutes to calm down. It sounds amazing. And I'm not saying that lightly either. Apple did not drop the ball when it comes to HomePod acoustics. It bumps, man. Now, I could always use voice commands to control the HomePod. Hey Siri, skip track. Hey Siri, turn it up. I've turned it up. Oh yes, yeah, she has. I also want to point out how cool the Siri animation looks on top of the HomePod. If I just press and hold to bring her up, check that out, man. How cool is that? The little Siri color animation there is reacting to the sound of your voice. But in case you're close by to the HomePod, I just figured this out. You also have controls on the HomePod itself. That's where this comes in handy, actually, from the quick start guide you got with your HomePod. You'll see the different controls you could use with the HomePod. And then, of course, whenever music is playing, you have the volume control on the top, which I must say looks incredible. Pretty sure it's an OLED display. Those digital volume control buttons look like they're actually on the HomePod itself. That's insane. But that's how you can control the music if you're playing music with the HomePod, and that works anywhere on the screen. Tap anywhere on the screen, it doesn't matter where, and the HomePod will recognize your tap. Pretty cool. Now obviously, I have to put the HomePod to the test in an actual environment where I will be listening to the music. In this studio setup, it's not the best for acoustics right now. I'm just gonna put that out there. Comparing the acoustics of the HomePod to the Echo first generation, I love my Echo, but it's like a night and day difference. The sounds that are coming from the HomePod right now are incredible. The acoustics are insane. You know what I can relate this to right now? The sound I'm currently hearing from the HomePod reminds me of how amazed I was from the sound when I first tried on a pair of Beats Studio headphones. I was blown away back then by the quality of Studio headphones from Beats. And I am blown away right now by the quality of sound coming from this thing. The bass just bumps. And it's not like the bass is too heavy either. You clearly hear the mids and the highs equally as well. The audio range is just well executed. Now, out of the box, zero complaints. Now, in the 300s, the price is a little pricey, but I will say the quality I'm getting out of the speaker right now, I think makes it well worth it. The build quality is incredible. And acoustics wise, the HomePod just does not disappoint when it comes to the sound I'm currently hearing with the acoustics and the audio range and the bass, mids, highs, everything. It's just, damn, the HomePod is a serious speaker to consider. And pair that up with the fact that it's a smart speaker with Siri technology built in Apple. Good looks. That's just the unboxing. That's just the quick setup and quick comparison. It's gonna take a little more testing, a little more playing around, testing it out in different environments to give my official review on the HomePod. But initial impressions? I'm in 
impressed. I'm super impressed right off the bat with how Siri sounds, how natural she sounds. She sounds, she sounds. How natural Siri sounds. Pairing that up with the overall audio range of the smart speaker. And boom, this is the Apple HomePod. Apple's next big thing. Wow. Time will tell. Time will tell how I end up liking this thing. If you're interested in getting yourself an Apple HomePod, I'll be sure to leave a couple links to the Apple HomePod in the video description box below as well, so check that out. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the brand new Apple HomePod, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more tech unboxings like this one on this channel. And be on the lookout for my official review video on the Apple HomePod. A card annotation is gonna pop up. You can check that out once my review is available on this bad girl. I'm gonna go plug her into my living room, jam out a little bit. I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, HomePod, you are fine, girl. You are fine. I wonder if Siri's single.